Greetings and welcome back to Sweet Transit. I'm Catherine of Sky and I messed up this recording back when I was in Oslo and I forgot to record the audio, which I'm hoping is not the case here. Yes, my audio settings are just, just fine. Oh, and we have a thing that I didn't mean to show you yet, so I'll take it off the screen right now. Anyway, um, we are in Sweet Transit where we have another deadlock. Not, not quite, I don't know how dead it is. It seems to be uh less than ideal but it is it will be fine do not worry it shall be fine um and we have trains kind of slowly moving around i have to change it to, uh we'll put it back on two speed and that'll be fine so anyway we do actually have a terrible terrible mistake uh and this is just my own ignorance about the geography of this area which i have been informed by a swede who has mentioned this in the comments and then i further asked for a clarification from matthias and indeed Ostatelia is not a city. Uh, it is a train station. <laughs> it is actually a train station. So we're going to name this properly uh, for Sertatelia. Uh, so that we, uh, mm, 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 here we go. Sertatelia. Yes. Okay. And um, we're going to rename everything uh, properly from that. Okay. So uh, let's see. Uh, and the thing is that the whole naming scheme is, 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 is like, you don't want to name, um, so, so in, in Swedenland, the city is called Sidatelli, which means South Market. And, um, there's a, there's a, a railway station to the east. You didn't want to call it South East Railway Station because it isn't actually in the Southeast of Sidatelli. It's East. Um, but yeah, we, we want to keep things absolutely understandable for anyone who would care to inquire. Södertälje Nora. That sounds interesting as well, doesn't it? But we're not going to fix those. We're going to keep those the same. Um, let's see. Let's fix this one. Right. And entertainingly enough, Matthias brought this up for me. And that was the thing that I was showing you, but you didn't know what it was. And yeah, it's weird. But anyway, in Raft, they have a sign that actually says Ostatelia. You can actually see the, um, the, oh, 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 my mouse pointer is not going above the thing. Oh, that's fun. Thank you, OBS, for your uh, usefulness. Anyway, you can see the uh, S-T-E-R, Osta. I don't know if there's room for a T, but there is a dot for the E eh letter. Anyway, the whole sign is supposed to be the whole length of the machete. Anyway, I found that really interesting. If anyone knows why there is a train station sign in the game uh, of Raft, I mean, is this like global warming to a degree where it's going to like completely flood all of... Um, this uh, Swedish coastline? Do let me know. I'm very curious about this. So anyway, let's get back to the game of Sweet Transit rather than Raft. We do have some issues here. We need a market. We have prepared for one. As we see, we have a tiny road there. So let's go ahead and build ourselves a market here. Also, I haven't played this game for a few days, so I might be slightly uh, rusted. Rusty. R to rotate. Okay. Anyway, market in the market town, working it. We're doing well now. Okay, what do we got here? Yeah, it's going to fix those, except maybe one. They also need a house of worship, but we need to carefully consider whether we want to pay a thousand monies per moment. I heard somebody was saying the other day, money units. I was like, ah, that's interesting. Hmm. That's fun. Money units work for me. Okay, let's put this one... Rotate. Hello? Does that work? Nye. Oh, we're out of stone. Now, why are we out of stone? We need to fix that. Um, <laughs> also, I did this. Oh, God, I forgot to say. You know what? I'm saving this in case I have to, like, redo this episode. I don't care. We'll just call it 12A. This is... I have completely redone all the root names, so they make sense now. We have abbreviations. The first symbol... Uh, WD is wood, CL is coal, RS is raw stone. Notice the S is capitalized there. And then we have the station abbreviations, uh, which, uh, no, they're not station abbreviations. They are sometimes station names, sometimes they are station abbreviations. I apparently was not consistent with that. 
but these obviously need to also be fixed. I'll, I'll go through these three here uh, so that you can see what we are talking about. So this was the main station. We're just going to call this S uh, as is proper. And this one was what? Again, coal. But we are also transferring workers. So we're going to say WK comma CL space so and to coal three. Oops, I'm doing badly right now. Okay. And then we'll do the next one. So this is again, this one is passengers to cotton and potatoes one, I believe. So this is going to be S O. Uh, but again, W K. And that's all they take. They're not getting potatoes or anything like that. This is cot one dash pot one. Okay. So this should enable us to kind of find things much more quickly in our list of stations. So this is uh, S -O to pot one and getting rid of the pass and calling it workers. Travelers I'm putting as TR. Okay. So. Uh, I did some experimenting thanks to Abby Cottontail. Thank you again, Abby, for this. The idea is that... So what I've been assuming in this game, everything is shared. If you look at this station, we have 1,200 potatoes. If you look at Tlinga we have 1,100 potatoes. They're eating some. If you look at Nora, we have, well, yeah, 1,100 potatoes again. So all of these resources are shared except the passengers and what i did in the episode that i had to delete because there was no voiceover i collect i connected nora to the potato farm here um and surprisingly interesting things happened because passengers are linked to their houses that are covered by the station that they are nearest to so there aren't magical buses apparently these are people without legs so they can't walk to the next station either they have no walking ability even though we see them walking along the street sides that is an illusion we cannot believe this no matter what that is not good um so there's no little buses there's no carts for them to get from station to station i find this very confusing because you would think that they would be able to like hey there are jobs if we can just get to that train station if we go over there, there are jobs. We can get money and survive. No, 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 no. We have lazy people in this plate, in this map here. So we have to remember that they are extremely lazy and plan accordingly. So what I want to do is get a train to Tlinginora and they are going to go to Potatoes 1 and Cotton 1. So why don't we do that? Let's set that up real quick. We have a little bit of interestingness happening here. Let's fix these train lines because they're not looking delightful to my eyes right now. They're a tiny bit dreadful. Just a tiny bit dreadful. So let's fix that because we do not approve of dreadfulness. Let's, hello, track. There we go. So this track is here. I do not want it to connect with that one. That would be bad socks and a half, you know? Can't deal with bad socks. Bad socks are just terrible. I've had bad socks before, and believe me, you do not want to mess with that. Okay. The other thing I wanted to do is change the pathing of this train a tiny bit, and you'll see why. We're going to just delete. Excuse me. Go away, thing. Go away. Shoo, shoo, shoo. shoo. Go away. There we are. So we're going to delete this tiny path here. And veterans of the game will know exactly what we're doing. Also, it should be noted that professional train engineers have objected to these tiny right angles of the curves that I just made one over there. Yeah. But this is basically a train set. This is a toy train set where, um, yeah, we're just doing toy train things. Uh, and to that end, we're going to, to build one of these lovely... 45 degree angle bridges or maybe it's 60 i don't know whatever it is it's something um we need how many do we need we need one maybe one i think one do we wait do we need any at all question mark i think i think we don't i think we can have 
a train go both to the cotton and the potatoes. So we don't need any bridges at all. Ah, okay, well, I was planning for one. That's why I made the, the straight track sections, because we all know that bridges the world over cannot go over diagonal pathing. Hmm? Yes. All right, let's just go with that. All right. We apologize for the excess of humor in this particular episode. <laughs> yes. All right, uh, let's put some signals down there. And so then we do need a track going back. So let's put one here. Uh, we are again, alas, driving on the right, but it is just the way the things flow. I would rather not have a crossing track. Uh, it is not necessary. And driving on the left isn't also necessary for things. On the main lines, we are going to make it our standard, but everywhere else, it's just fine to have short stretches where they are driving a little bit differently and it's just just fine just fine okay uh signals needed let's have signals on the inlets up there perfect and then let's add some uh, blocks there i love the auto signaling feature it's quite handy and then here we'll do the same all right good excellent okay so now we have a little loop that's going to go from tlinganora through this way it'll cross over this main uh eh, not a main line but a semi -si semi side line yes new words today semi side line let's have that uh it goes to two stations so, or three now i suppose yeah it's dreadful uh it is a, a semi, semi side line hmm. uh through cotton one and then we can deliver the rest of the passengers to potatoes one right now you're gonna see something quite interesting happen here. So let's check Tlinganora, and we have no passengers at all. This, remember we were wondering, where are all these passengers? Well, it turns out they are on trains. Uh, did we fix that in the last episode or am I just, sorry, I am completely like borked with my whole brain things with stuff uh, because, um, because I've been traveling and that always is very borky for the brain. Um, let's see, did we fix something like this one? How big is this train? Oh, I don't think we did, did we? Oh, this is fun. Well, we have many things to do today. That's just what we're going to do then, many things. Uh, hmm. Let's see the train thingy thingy. Oh no, we did, we did. We have a past 200. Uh, and I'm sure we have other passengers amounts here. We have big passenger one and then pass 80 and pass 200. Is this how many watts? Is this how many vehicles are on the track? I think so. I wonder if a car counts as a vehicle, like a carriage or a wagon. I'll ask later. Um. Yeah, there we are. Anyway, I think that's the number of these, not the number of actual trains we have on the tracks. Um, this one, for example, does have four. We can count them. Four, it's a length of 5.6. Uh, the others look about correct. This one, passengers 200, let's count that one as well because it is countable. Three and four is seven. Yes, I believe that is the number of vehicles on the track. Uh, rather than the number of trains we have. All right, that seems good. So now let us find what we have here. Potatoes one needs how many passengers or how many workers we should say. We have one, two, three, four, five. Five times 40 is 200. And cotton needs 60 times four is several, uh, otherwise known as 240. And that is 420 altogether. Um, I think I want to look at that other passenger thingy majingy train. Do we have any, I wonder? I wonder if we have one of those. Let's let's look. Let's see. WK. Do we have one? This one is 80 passengers. That's not the one we're looking for. 80. 80. No, that's Oh no, it is correct. 120. Come on, thingy. Give us what we want. Please, please. This is a big one. 120. 480. So train 20 has 480. 
I think that's kind of what we're going to for. This is probably that length of a train, I would imagine. So let's rename that train preset for AT so that we know what it is and we don't have to do this again. Like guess and check sort of thing. Um, because 480 is very close to our 440 or 420 we needed, right? We could make it shorter, uh, but we do have uh, stations that have uh, more or less, more workers needed or amount about the same about the same let's just call it that way okay 480 let's click click yes let's click on this one passengers uh 480 okay very good wagons 14 but that actually counts the engine as well which is not a wagon the engine is not a wagon i wonder if the tender could be considered a wagon possibly it does have some special features though uh right so we need we need this let's build one yo <gasps> no but it put it on oh it put it on no route that's fine uh because we're going to make a new route we need to make a brand new route from Tlinga Nora to Nora pardon me holy crap I went American there for a second that's terrible um let's see what we want to do is find another train that does the cot pot business this one looks great so this is a worker that goes from um, Tlinga Sedra to Cot and Pot. That's perfect. Now, there are things called tooltips, and I, I have read them once upon a time. I know some people go all meow, KOS, you need to read everything. I do, but you know, there's a, a, another thing called brain ram. Sometimes people call it memory, um, and that doesn't always remember everything. So please be kind. Um, but we want to do hold control to duplicate current route. There we go. And we're going to go from TLN uh, to Linganora to Cotpot. And then we'll delete this word copy at the end of it. There we go. Delete. Thank Excuse me. Please. Why is it not deleting that? That's weird. Anyway, uh, and now we're going to re-jig uh, this thing to go to Nora here. You see? Nice. Now, 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 once we deploy and do a route here, just a moment, TLN to Cot Pot. Magic will happen in Sweet Transit. Look, watch this. Do I have to actually start the game? I have to. I have to start the game. Hello? Wait, do we have we have zero train. Why is it zero trains? Hello? Nai? What do you be doing? Oh, it hasn't been deployed yet. We have to click the deploy button. Does that when it does it? No. Look, look what's happened. Aha! 480 people have are waiting at that station. Magic, I tell you. So this game behaves very similarly to Transport Tycoon, Transport Fever uh, 1 and 2, which I'm not a fan. Honestly, I really like the, okay, let's just shove a bunch of people and goods and stuff on the loading docks, the loading uh, platforms. Uh, no, we're not doing docks yet. <laughs> anyway, uh, platforms and let the train take it and it will sell it at the destination. You know, basically sell, you know, quote unquote sell. Uh, passengers are also goods-ish. But what it's doing instead, it's looking for a place to sell them and then it's generating the amounts to sell, which I do not like this. I have to admit, I really don't like that. It's annoying as fuzz. There are other words that could be substituted for the word fuzz, but I'm not going to say them. Um, yeah, so you see how this works now. And that also shows that my other theory does not work. This whole putting in Sedetalia Nora, Nora does not work at all. This has to be fixed because even though they're covered by a station, they can't go anywhere because there is no train track. But what we might do instead, we might do an in-out train. Uh, we have never built one of those in the game, but just for the passengers, it might actually be worth it. So I'm considering this. Um, we also have some other interesting options. Uh, Abby has been doing some really interesting stuff with like having a warehouse like this to the extreme where you can put the, um, 
the the farms and stuff at the very end of the roads and have all of the uh, fields and stuff outside the boundaries of the station and outside the boundaries of the, the distribution places. So that's quite interesting. It is very interesting. Um, but we might get to that. We'll see. All right. So we're at 11 and a half K in terms of money. So we're doing well. We are actually at max capacity of wealth, which I do not understand that concept, uh, but it's fine. Um, is this the train? No, it is not. Where is our uh, train that we just delete, uh, created and <laughs> deleted? Uh -huh. TLN Cotpot. Here we go. It is at coal mine one. That is not an ideal location. I have to admit. So we are stuck in traffic, basically. This is uh, definitely not an ideal situation. There are other things where somebody said you can't turn left in certain places. I'm going to try to see if that's the case anywhere. This one, if we go here, it can go through there. Can it go? It can go this way. Yep, through there. And can it go to the right? That is a very good question. It cannot go to the right. Well then, that is an that is an issue that is probably causing us some traffic problems. Um, so let's fix that, shall we? We can do a thing like this and go from the inside. That's going to make a lot of people's brains hurt. So sorry, just going to have to deal because I chose to. There we go. But we also can go under and through and on the other side as well. Wow, I'm unpaused and they are not moving. This is not ideal. Okay. Ah, we have another issue here of train thinks it's stopping at the warehouse or they're going to try to stop here because this thing is thinking that the three blocks that the train station occupies is actually a station. We don't want that at all. So what? why is this held up? This one is going here. Why is that one going there? Where are you going? Eh? You're loading at Tilinga City. Okay, and this one is stuck because this and this. And we have a circular stuckness loop. Hooray! Okay, let's just... Uh, thank you very... Go, go... No, get out of here, advice. I don't want your advice. Go... Shoot! Oh my god. R trains need to move more efficiently. Oh, really? That's so useful. Thank you. Thank you, advice. Okay, send to train depot. I'm going to send a couple of these to the depot and see if we can improve this situation somewhat because this is absolutely bad and dreadful. Come on, click. Go, go, go. Move it along. Let's move. Stop. Wait, wait, wait. Stop right there. Stop right there. What we're going to do is we're going to change this track configuration because it is horrendous. We need to make sure that this track is not connected to this station. So we're gonna just do a little, can I hold control for precise control? Let's do that. Thank you, that's better, perfect. Okay, so we're gonna do a tiny squiggle there and it's gonna be fine. We are not gonna stop there, thank you very much. We do not do this, there you go. You're gonna have to go around the other way. Now, what are we? what's happening here? Why are we stuck? Okay, so that one is, can go to the right that way. Um, and do do forgive me if I have wrong things happening here. I don't mean to, obviously. Uh, it's just I miss stuff, and I'm a human sometimes. Sometimes I'm a robot, though, so I don't have any excuse then. But I'll just claim I'm a human, so just go with it. Anyway, uh, this is working that way. That one is going slow that way. We do need some cold desperately in Tulinga. Uh, so, but we do have... Um, let's see. What's happening with our new train? Let's see. We'll put that one on screen. Uh, hello? Back. There we go. Oh, this is right. This, this is the one that was stuck in the deadlock. Yes, of course. That's extremely handy. All right. So, what we did... Did we do that last time where we had a dedicated line to the sawmill? Yeah, we do. We have this dedicated line, and I know Matthias would absolutely love this very cute little bridge. <laughs> oh God in heaven! Oh, yeah. I think I think that would annoy most uh, train engineers. This um, interestingness. But again, it, this is a toy train game. This is not about real trains at all. Um, the 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 amount of traffic we have generated is not anywhere near uh, reality in terms of 
the amount of percentage of occupied track versus the length of the trains. Like in the US, we have miles and miles long trains, but they do not occupy a significant percentage of all the tracks in the world or all the tracks in the country. So, but it is moving. That is good, mostly. There's our train. It's actually trying to get to where it needs to go. I could have been sneaky and just put it on this line, but we don't do that. We don't we don't cheat that way. Nine nine. Not doing that. Okay, so let's go ahead and get these stone trains going because we are quite short on stone. Well, we were five seconds ago. <laughs> uh, all right, there we go. But the important point here is you need to use your various stations for stuff, okay? And if you're short of employees, then you need to move stuff around. I don't want your advice. Go away. I, I know how to play the game thing. Go away, go away, go away. Uh, all right. So let's see. Um, one of the things that we can definitely look at is workers and which, which stations are used most often and see if we can move them a bit. Okay. Let's see. Tool, tool, tool. Okay. Looks like we have many workers coming from Tulinga City, uh, but we need them to come from TLS instead, right? So let's see. Can we take these folks from to the sawmill? That is going crazy that way. Wait, why does it do this? Question mark? Hello? Oh, they're doing that. I see. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. That is... Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. fine. Um, where do we want to go? Maybe we do this one. Maybe this is the one. You know what? They need a lot of workers, but might as well just do one with a lot of workers versus one with tiny amounts of workers, right? Locate, we need to change to Sudra here. So let's change this one to TLS instead so that we have a better uh, feel of what we're doing here and we can read our train schedules much better. Okay, so that is also gonna generate many workers here at Sudra. You see now instead of 880, there's 1,080 waiting or 1,080 capacity for waiting here. Uh, at Nora, we probably have many more workers available, so we need to figure out where is a good spot to inject them into this process. Um, what we could do, we could actually be sneaky here and send workers from Nora to Coal Mine 1 instead of the current loop that it's going on. Uh, let's do that. Let's be sneaky. I like sneakiness. Sneakiness is just great. Uh huh. There we go. Another right, beautiful right angle turn. Perfect. Nice. <clears throat> All right. And then we're going to go around this way. Let's see if we have enough space here. Yes, we do. That is lovely. And then uh, we have this. So the, the, uh, the, the route is going to be coal mine one through to the left here. Go around, go into Nora, and then we take another one out of Nora and go that away. So we need to just connect this one this way. Oh, I love this music. It's so good. Nice. I like blues. It's great stuff. Stevie Ray Vaughan. Anybody a fan of Stevie Ray Vaughan, by the way? Yeah. We, we, we can get along real good. Oh, yes. This is there. Wait, what? Huh? Yeah, no. Mm, mm, mm. Oh, that was a mistake. I see. I see what happened there. Okay, I, I thought there was a signal going backward, but I hadn't actually placed it yet. It was just very bright. Okay, so now we should have enough signals here to make this a very happy situation. And now we can move that one train that goes, it's a, t uh, it's a go away advice. Holy crap. Can I turn that thing off? You know what? I'm going to check settings. Where is advice? Uh, general language. No advisor off. Go away. Accept. Accept. Holy crap. Leave me alone. All right. So we were looking for the train that has coal and workers. I think I did workers comma coal. So we need to do the one that goes from Tulinga to, yep, 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 this is the one, this is the one. Because remember, all of the coal is shared throughout the entire city. The only thing that's not shared inexplicably is passengers. 
Uh, I wonder if travelers are also unshared. That would be unideal, shall we say. Very unideal. All right, anyway, hello. We want to go to Nora here. And again, Nora. Hello? Oh, wrong one. There we go. Beautiful. So, Nora, this is going to be the wrong thing entirely. What are you doing, trains? Nai. Oh, they're going to coal mine two. Nai? Nai, 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 nai. I want you to go to coal mine one, please. Wait, why is it going to coal two? Uh. Who goes to coal one? Anybody? Hello? You guys, this one. Oh, that was not good. Okay, all right. I'm going to change this one back uh, to coal two. All right, we'll change it back because that's a very bad route. I don't like it at all. It's very tangly. It's terrible. Okay, Talinga City. And then... No, 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 no. I don't want you to go to rail. I want you to go to the city station. Thank you. Let's get the other one. I should read these better. Okay, this one to coal, to coal one. That is our object. So there we go. Now we're going to change this to Nora Station. Yeah. Okay, there we go. And this one, please. Thank you. All right, that is better. We have th three trains doing this. Why? Holy crap, that's too many. Also, the platform isn't long enough. That is also very not ideal. I think... Can they unload from that last car? Probably not. Let's pause and check. All. Five of 50 and five of 50. It doesn't look like it's a particularly bad problem. Uh, they are cluttering the track a tiny bit by being two wagons too long. Uh, we shall have to see if that's a problem. But what we need to do is look at these trains. Train 31. Go back. Uh, I actually want to sell this one. Sell. Yep. A chapter. There we go. I've been watching some uh, Young Pope and New Pope. Great stuff. If you haven't seen those series, it is fantastic. Holy crap, it's a good series. But uh, yeah, it's uh, watch the Young Pope first and then the new one. Hmm? Okay, what is this? This is oh, it's a disconnected platform. That won't do it at all. Not at all. There we go. Boom. So now we have even more thingamajiggies. What are you doing, dude? Did you even get passengers? You did. Wow. That was impressive. Okay. Um, it looks like we may not have enough coal. Okay. What's going on at this station here? Let's just go out of everything. We have only 40 passengers waiting, uh, which means there's zero coal waiting. That's not ideal, as you can imagine. 60 per minute, but it's not doing... Oh, there is it. I was clicking on the wrong thing. Okay. There we go. All right, it does make very little coal. I'm wondering if one train would be enough to service this. It seems like it. They are quite often. So you're doing this one. Let's go ahead and sell this train because we don't need it. There we go. I think when we have these long delay times and there's a lot of trains on the track and all the all of the the uh, the traffic, adding more trains does not help the situation at all. What are you doing, train? Hello. Well, you're waiting. Why are you waiting? This one is in a train jam. Woo! Train flavor jam. Perfect. Uh, yeah, there is some situational badness going on here. Um, all right, we need to think of a solution for this because this is not acceptable. This does not work at all. Uh, hmm. Because we have this circular kind of uh, really bad things going on. All right, you go to the depot, please. I think the situation here uh, that is making this bad is that we have this crossing here. Can I fix it? That is a very good question. Um, I don't know if I can fix it, but I can move it. That That is a possibility. Let's see. This one can be moved up here that might change how this situation works we could move this one slightly to the right as well I'm not actually sure what we're supposed to do with this I do not know um 
But this is why we play this game, because we like these problems. We enjoy these problems. Um, they are interesting for us to, to solve. The problem... The, so, so the major problem is, why, why cannot we use bridges? The bridges, the problems with the... Oh, we can, can't we? Oh, we can! Oh, I found the solution. Isn't that nice? I was thinking of doing a bridge crosswise. Uh, but we don't actually need one, I think. I think we can just make these bridges uh, and the others not. Let's go to the depot, go to the depot. We'll send you all. D don't, wor don't worry, we'll get you back. Oh, also, someone was saying that if you send trains to the depot with passengers or something, those passengers are forever stuck. I hope not. That sounds terrible. Uh, I hope that's not the case, because that's not good at all. Okay, that goes away. This goes away. Uh, nine, 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 nine. Actually, that can stay right there. But we're going to remove this part and make something called a bridge once we have bridgey materials. We actually need stone for this, which we do not have yet. Uh, give me some stone. Let's go. Come on. Give, give, give. I'm greedy. There we go. Need a couple hundred. There's one section of a hundred. So let's do this one first. And we need to do start three before the gap. There we go. So don't overbuild your bridges because you don't need to. It's too expensive. And then this, we need to delete some of these crops here. We'll fix it. We'll we'll move them around basically. It will be fine. But they do need to excuse me, do not do that. Dude. Come on. Come on. It's okay. There we go. Nice and easy. Hello? Hello? Bye. All right. Doesn't like this one. We'll delete it. We'll be fine. We'll be fine. There we go. There we go. Easy peasy. Boom. Now, let's also uh, put another signal here to close that block off. Excellent. Already better. Now, this one also needs to be changed, but we need more stone. Um, and let's, um, let's, uh, uh, sorry, my train of thought derailed, unfortunately. Sad times. Oh, yes, we needed this. We needed the cotton to be spread out a tiny bit more over here. Oh, uh, all right, okay, we're, uh, eh, cry. How many do we need? Six. All right, one, two, three, and six. We'll just shove it down the line and add things to these other thingy majingies. This one is, all right, 120. This one is how many? Again, 114. So we need to delete six from here and six from there, I think. Just move it on along, basically. It's fine, though. It does not matter. We just, oh, wonderful. Yeah, that was convenient. Uh huh. And then this one is going to need its six as well. Or more than six. Wow, it needs, like, many. Somebody forgot to put those in. Dang it. Uh, that might have been me. <laughs> Since I'm the only one playing here. <laughs> All right, let's go this way. Do very anno stuff. Very anno. Very anno. Yeah. There we go. Beautiful. Fantastic. Oh, whoops. Nine nine. There. And clicky, clicky. There. Nice. Okay. Very nice. And now we have the ability to... Oh my goodness, things have happened here, haven't they? That that looks most interesting. <laughs> oh dear. Um, right. So anyway, this should not be blocked anymore. Uh, we need another hundred stone, so let's wait for that to happen. Actually, we can look how much stone exactly we need for each bridge by clicking this and then doing a one gap bridge. That is 70 stone. We don't need a hundred... All right, so this is automatically better because of the new Bridgey Bridges. Happy days are here again. In reality, you'd need much longer stretches to build bridges over the same height of train because of the grade. You'd have to have really stellar train engines as well with a lot of tractive power and horsepower and, I don't know, snail power and like llama and alpaca power as well. All the animal power you can get. <laughs> I don't know. I've never, I've never thought of converting horsepower into like snail power. I don't know if that would be useful. Probably not. That's probably why they haven't done it. 
I don't know if snails have ever been used to pull anything, like, even in, in cosplay stuff where you'd, like, hook a little cart to them or something. I don't know. This is a very silly thought. Do not go out and collect snails and put hitch carts to them. That, that would not be a good idea. What is going on with these trains? We need more stone. Come on, let's go. We There's some stone right here. You can tell because it's the half trains. Come on, there we go, 116. We might get two bridges out of this one. That would be fantastic. Uh, so let's just take this section here, one, two, three, and one, two, and three. This is quite easy there, but we just need those little bits gone as well because it's going to be a longer entrance into this section there. But we will make it. It will be fine. There we go. Beautiful. Excellent. God, I love this game so much. All right, there we go. So now we have no crossings, which is fantastic. Uh, we could fix mm, this one as well, maybe. There's not a lot of space here. That kind of worries me, but we could square this up and make it cross here. That is another, no, we couldn't, could we? No, we'd have to make it cross there, but that could be shifted potentially. Anyway, let's see if we need a bridgey bridgey there and let's get out of this menu and see if we release these little guys from the depot. They've been having fun playing, sleeping in the depot. Uh, well, sleeping or playing. I don't know what they've been doing in the depot. This is a, I probably should ask. They have playtime for trains and depot. So this is a problem here, this this crossing of that. So we might actually have to do that extra bridgey bridgey over there. But I think it's better already. Might be, might be better. Uh, and that also prevents us from needing to move the other crossings in weird ways. Uh, so there is that. So this is this is a problem. All right, we need to fix this. Um, but I think we'll save that for later land because we actually run out of time. Um, but we'll just focus on this crossing here. I'll zoom in and we're going to save the game as 13. Yeah, that's next episode. Start starts on number 13. And I guess all that's left to do is say thank you so very much for joining me. Take care of yourselves and each other. And I'll see you next time.